If you've been following the news, then chances are that likely you've heard the terms good bacteria, healthy bacteria, or probiotics. Now, probiotics is something that we find in our gut, good bacteria, where it fights off bad bacteria that can make us vulnerable to infections and disease. It also supports our digestive tract. So it's essential for good health. And the reason why I think that probiotics at this stage is enjoying a little bit of the spotlight is because I think slowly but surely we're beginning to realize that our diets are causing a lot of damage to our health, in particular the Western diet, which is rich in processed food, loads of sugars, loads of artificial sweetness, artificial colorings, and lots of unhealthy fats. And these have been shown to slowly kill off the probiotics in our stomachs. So it makes perfect sense that so many people are struggling with digestive disorders, like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, or food intolerances like gluten intolerance, or food sensitivities, or just a general feeling of being a little bit bloated or heavy once you've had a meal. So how do you repair this? How do you fix the problem? The logical thing is, is to top up on probiotics. And a lot of people just think it's okay to eat yogurt, and that's a good step forward. But yogurt only contains about two strains of probiotics, so you're not necessarily going to get the benefit that you're looking for. Other alternative health specialists, like Dr. McCullough, recommend that we eat more fermented foods because they are rich in probiotics. And he likes to talk about sauerkraut and kimchi as two sources of probiotic-rich foods. You may not want to go for that because I don't think it's very delicious, but you're welcome to give it a try. The one fermented food that I find to be greatly beneficial is called kefir. Now, kefir is a product that's been around for centuries. It's used in Asian cultures and communities, and in Russia, it's been consumed on a regular basis. It's a milk product, so it's made of cow's milk or goat's milk. Uh, with a little bit of added yeast set aside for it to ferment after a few hours it's then being consumed. The biggest benefit of course is the fact that it's very rich in probiotics. Compared to yogurt it's got 47 strains of probiotics in it, very rich in protein so it helps with muscle repair, rich in other nutrients like calcium which is good for your bones and your teeth and then it contains vitamin B12 which is great for brain function and brain support vitamin B1 that helps us reduce stress, and biotin that helps your body to utilize all the other B vitamins to its maximum potential. There's also other research that suggests that uh, kefir can help reduce cholesterol, and it can also help reduce high blood pressure. And new research is coming out showing that probiotics in general can help with mental health issues like depression. So you get a lot of benefit by consuming a product like kefir, which is very rich in probiotics. Of course, these products are now becoming readily available, and you can pick it up at any health food store. Uh, a few things to check out before you do. Read the label. You don't want to buy a product that's got added sugar in it because you're not really going to get the benefit you want. And secondly, if you're lactose intolerant, you may want to opt for something else, like a kefir product that's made of coconut milk. It's very delicious and you will get the same benefits than you would get from the milk-based product. If you want to know more about the benefits of probiotics in general, you can visit our website called The Daily Health at dailyhealth.co.uk or you can sign up to our free e-newsletter which is also called The Daily Health and we can keep you up to date on a daily basis about the latest alternative health breakthroughs and help you make the best of your health. Thank you.